Welcome to the Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine web show. My name is Jackie. Today we have two fabulous things on the show. The Scan and Cut from Brother and Kelly Clapstein. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. Glad to be back. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we absolutely adore it when our, our team joins our show because they truly are our experts. And today, Kelly is going to be playing with the Brother Scan and Cut machine. Kelly's had this machine for a little while now and she's been playing with it. And we're really excited to do some basic stuff. Uh, things that you can get started, hook it up, and start cutting at home if you have this machine with you at home. So Kelly, this is the layout that Kelly is going to be creating using some fabulous products and today she's going to show us how she cut out this cute little camera. So Kelly, do you want to just start off by telling us the products that you used? Sure. I used, have you seen the fun collection from Simple Stories called Say Cheese? I sure have, one of my favorites. So it's I guess it's a Disney collection, but I use it for any other layout, and I used it for this one. It's got great colors and really fun patterns, and I just love simple stories. So I have the papers, and I also use some stickers. There is also a package of brads Funky little and brads. Little, little embellishments that I used as well. Cool. And I also, to cut the camera and the other elements, I use my Coordinations Color Course cardstock. Oh yes, that's how you got the camera to have this neat little A edges. distressed effect. Distressed effect. Yeah. That's the word, distressed effect. Right. Awesome. So I'm going to show you how to use the Scan and Cut to cut out that camera. Giver. Now in the machine we have lots of patterns and cut files. So there's probably over 700 oh, wow. images you can look at. Lots of options. Exactly. And so I'm going to show you how I cut out the camera image and where it is on the machine. Okay. So to start out with, you do have a cutting oh. mat that you use. Perfect. And I placed on my um, cutting mat, my coordinations card stock. Because it's 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 a temporary adhesive or it's yes, a sticky, right? Yes, it's a sticky right? mat, yeah. Okay. Like, and so you just want to make sure it's stuck down very well. Okay. Then you load the mat into the machine by pressing this load button on the top. Then you have two choices. You can choose a pattern or you can scan. Okay. I want to choose a pattern because I'm going to cut out the camera that's in the machine file. And you have a bunch of options. You have shapes, borders, fonts, uh, word art, and then images. And I'm going to choose, there's the camera image. I'm going to look for it, find it. There it is. Select it. Wow, that's a lot of different shapes. I and know, that so many. Did yeah. I go too fast? Not at all, not at all. We could play for a long time. Before. Yes, we could. And also, I'm using the stylus that does come with the Scan and Cut machine. Right. So there the camera comes up on the screen. And you can actually resize it. Um, it's at four inches right now, okay. and the proportions are constrained, so they oh, I see. adjust. I'm going to keep it at four inches, and then I'm going to click OK, and all the parts show up on this mat, or oh, so see. to speak, okay. or on, on the, the screen. All the parts to make up that camera. Yes, okay. and it's uh, like a dimensional camera, so it's different pieces. I'm going to choose the base, click OK, um, you can choose how many you want to cut. So I'm going to st stay with one and choose set. Then I'm going to add my other pieces to okay. this 12 by 12 oh, I cutting see. mat. I see, because right now screen. it's just got the base of the camera. Yes. Okay. So I click add. I'm going to choose that A bit. Okay. I only want one. Set. I'm going to choose add. Choose the C. And that's another little stri little strip of paper. PC. Yeah. Okay. That's a real professional word, PC. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And choose set. Uh, add. I'm going to add the camera lens. 
and choose OK, set, there it is on my mat. But I added a second camera lens to give it more dimension, so I'm going to click Add. There's the lens again, click OK, one of those, and there it is on the mat. However, I am going to change the dimensions of this one camera lens. Oh, because you want I'm going to, to I want them. one larger, yeah. Right, okay. So I'm going to choose it and move it over a little bit. Oh, yeah, I guess it doesn't adjust it itself. You have to move it with yes, the with okay. your stylus. And then I cool. will choose Very cool. this symbol, and this symbol here changes the height. Okay. So I'm going to make it, and height and width is a circle. So it's at, what, 1.5. I'm going to choose, make it two inches. Ooh. Oh, let's make it two and a quarter. There. Perfect. So that there perfect. it is on my cutting mat. I click OK. OK again. There's all my pieces. OK. OK again. And then I choose cut. There's a lot of OKs going on on this brother scan and cut machine. There are. And the green lights up for my play or cut. I press that and the machine goes to work. And on the screen you see is finish. If I wanted to cut more out from this piece of cardstock, I could just say select the next part and continue to cut. Okay. But I will click finish. Okay. And then I will unload my paper. There we go. I'll pull that off. You have a do you have a spatula so you can okay. pull off your pieces if they don't come off easily. There they are. You can see I've used this machine a lot. Your and mat's been loved. I know it has. It's a nice Ooh. loved mat. Now Coordinations with their cardstock also has um, a really cool sanding block. We're just going to move that more into the center there. There we go. Uh, the sanding block is for distressing your paper because remember it's color core and so there could be other Something colors inside. Something hidden in the yes. inside, yes. And inside of this black piece of paper is gray. So I also have Dust Buddy to clean up afterwards. Very nice. And I will just lightly sand my pieces that are going on top of the camera. So now you're going to show us how to use that Dust Buddy to clean up this mess, clean oh, yeah. up the sandy mess. Yeah, because otherwise you're going to have powder everywhere of the cardstock. And also, it'll stay on the top of the paper as you've sanded. So, you just want. And you know clean what? Up. If that stuff stays on top of the paper, it actually becomes less sticky too. When you're like, it doesn't With let the adhesive. adhesive cling to it very well. So, if you're finding that your coordinations cardstock after you sanded it is not sticking, it's probably because it has a fine layer of dust. So, you need to get yourself a dust buddy. My dust buddy is my husband, Kristoff. <laughs> He Good doesn't one. know that. We won't let him watch. I don't show. have a dust buddy, <laughs> other than this one. Oh, now you're going now to. Now I'm going to take out my 3D foam squares okay. from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. They come in two different sizes and also two different colors, black and white. I love their new packaging. Yes, they have very a whole pretty. new look going on. It's really nice. The purple and the yeah. white. So in this in the mixed um, package, you have the large and small, and basically I'm going to put my adhesive on the back. And I've like some people actually somebody asked me well, why do you have black foam squares? Yeah. And I said, well, when I'm working with dark papers or dark cardstock, I really like to use the black. And then you just start building your camera up. So there's the first lens. So on this layout, Kelly, you also, uh, what other elements on this layout did you use with the scan and cut machine? Okay, I created these fun Polaroid frames and I used the basic shapes on the scan and cut machine and I resized them. I put a square inside of a rectangle 
And then the Scan and Cut also has some fonts. And so I just typed out selfies, and here I typed out you and me, and then moved it into the bottom of this rectangle, and then cut it out. Very nice. Yeah, and when, within minutes I had my own custom designed uh, Polaroid frame. And one more element on this layout that you did, I see you have some scrapbook adhesives by 3L foam shapes. Yes, I have some 3D foam hearts and they come in three sizes in the package and I use the smallest ones, put them here. There were some hearts here that I wanted to add a little bit more of a bling effect, right? right? It's my daughter. So. Of course, the teenage daughters, they and need some bling. Exactly. And so then I just added some glitter on top of those 3D foam foam hearts. And it holds the glitter really well, doesn't it? Perfectly. It doesn't come off. No. Wonderful. All of the pattern paper, stickers, and brads are from the great company called Simple Stories. Kelly used the Brothers Scan and Cut electronic cutting machine for the Polaroid die cuts as well as the camera embellishment that you see here on her layout. She used coordinations, color core cardstock for that cute little camera as well as the dust buddy and the sanding block. The entire layout is stuck together using scrapbook adhesives by 3L, tape runner, 3D foam shapes and squares. The little heart that you see is a scrapbook adhesives by 3L 3D foam heart and it's covered with glitterits glitter. Well, you know what, Kelly, thank you so much. I know that you're coming back to show us more with the Scan and Cut machine. There is so much that this machine can do. Wow, and you know, here's a place for you to get started with some basic shapes and some funky Polaroid die cuts that Kelly has created here on her layout. So thank you, Kelly. Thanks, Jackie. And we'll see you next time. See you again.